welcome back. Today we are doing the second episode of the Coaster Element tutorial series. Now of course this will run through all of the different inversions, well maybe not all of them, but most of the inversions and some of the drops and dives on coasters and teach you guys how to build them like I do I guess. So, in this episode we are going to be building a corkscrew and a zero G roll. There are two types of the zero-g roll. First of all, you have the straight version. So if you're building a zero-g at a straight angle, or if you're actually building it at a diagonal angle, you have the choice of which one you want to build. The quartz screw, however, you can just intertwine that into a different angle instantly. It's quite simple. So, this will be quite a short tutorial. Uh, if you haven't seen the last one, go check it out. It was the vertical loop tutorial. And by the way, these are both rideable. And of course, if you want to see another inversion of your choice in the next episode, then tell me in the comments or on my Discord. So, welcome back. As you can see, we're in the building area of the corkscrew and the zero G roll. We're going to start off with the corkscrew, and obviously, you can see that I'm in the same world with the loops. And of course, what we have here and a couple coasters in the background and some prototypes off on that side so we're going to start off with the court screw so uh let's get into it so i have it facing this way of course if obviously this can go either way it can either go right or left you can just flip it round and do the exact same but just flipped horizontally so yeah so you want to start off with your entry point so you can make this however many blocks long you can have a drop before this you can have air time here whatever but this is your entry point for the court screw and where it will start going up and into the inversion so you want to go up by one and go across by three then you want to go up and actually go you want to go right or left depending on how you're doing it but you want to go like that so if you've got that kind of shape then you want to go up by one again and you want to go two across up once again but forward that time and then you want to do it one last time to that side now that may look quite terrible but once you actually put it into practice and into the inversion not only does it make it rideable but it makes it look a lot nicer as well I'll give you a view up top just so if you haven't got that down then what you want to go and do is you want to do the exact same as you did it down here but up here so like that so one block up to the left and across and now you've reached the top of the court screw you want to go up by one and then go left or right depending on how you do this I'm going to say left and you want to go four blocks along and go out by one again so that's the kind of shape you have for this of course you can pause the video here and actually take note of that and then build it and now we exactly we do the exact same what we did over there on this side so you want to go down by one and do that pattern there then you want to go and do the two block here the two block here and the two block here and then you want to go ahead and do the turn so as you can see it's an exact replica of what's going on that side but on this side and then you want to go down into a two block and then the exits there of course you can look at it either way you can look at it that way or that way and you can have it go either way you can have it go up that way and exit over there or you can have it how I did it but as you can see it's quite a stretched out inversion obviously that is the corkscrew but from up top it does have the corkscrew kind of shape so uh, yeah so that is the corkscrew and we will now move on to the zero g roll first starting with the straighter option and second with the diagonal option so we are next to the corkscrew now and we're going to start building the zero g roll of course starting with the straight version so what you want to do is you want to start off with your entry point make it however long you want then you want to go up by two like you did over there and then keep going up 
by one, but go up by one five times. You want to go one, two, three, four, five. And then you want to put one block out here and one block in there. So essentially we're using the same kind of turns and stuff that we used in that to make it rideable. Then you want to go up this time by six. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And once again, do what you did down there. Do that. Now you've pretty much reached the top of the zero G and you actually want to now go up by one, across by one, and now you want to actually go by four and then go across by one again. Then you want to go down by one and do the exact same shape you did on that side. So, so far you should have that. And then go down by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And go across. And go down by five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you should be done. And you should be able to just link it up like so. So that's the straight version of the zero G roll. Of course, it doesn't really look the shape there, but when you look at it from a distance, it does look like a zero G roll, like kind of from certain distances. And especially when you've got the theming in, it will look much better than it does here. Now we'll move straight on to the diagonal version. The diagonal version, however, you do not want to do a long entry like you did over there. You actually want to go like this. So you have that entry here, and then you have that there. Once you've done that, go up by one and across like that. Go up by two and across by that. Then go up by three and go across like that. You see the pattern here, we're gonna do four now. So you want to go up by one, two, three, four, and go across. So pretty much the pattern is, if you want to make this zero G even bigger, basically all you want to do is just keep doing this pattern like I did for the Swarm. If you haven't seen that POV, I recommend going and checking it out. There is a massive zero G on Swarm. And literally all I did is copy this exact technique that I'm doing now. And actually, instead of just do going up to three and going to that height, I extended it up. And then you just want to go up by three and go across and then go up by two and go across so literally all you've done here is start off by going up by two three four and then go back down to three two and then you want to go up by one go across like that then go three across one across again three and one so now you've got that kind of shape going up and then that shape over here you then want to repeat what you did on that side but going down so you want to go down and like that down by two and like that down by three like that down by four like that, down by three, like that, and down by two, like that. And then you can literally just exit however you want to from that. But there you go, that is the zero G roll and corkscrew. So, um, Obviously the diagonal one does look a lot bigger than the tiny one, but you can shorten that. You don't have to go up by two, up by three, up by four, and then go back down like that. You don't have to do that. You can shorten that amount. You could literally go up by two, three, three, 
one and two sorry and then that'll be it and yeah so all of these inversions will be a similar size to each other apart from the corkscrew and barrel rolls because you can't really do them any bigger than what they are there but as you can see that these two zero g's are quite close in size to the loop so i am going to keep doing these sizes similar like i've done already but anyway thank you for watching the second installment of the cet series coast element tutorial and of course if you did enjoy then tell me what you'd like to see next and as you can see that is a very nice view of the core screw there going through like that but tell me what inversion you'd like me to do next of course I've already done three and I'm planning on doing like vertical lifts and stuff soon um, so watch out for that but what inversion shall I do next put in the comments and I shall see you guys next time goodbye <laughs>